My name is Victoria Welton. Welcome to the Conception Diaries. Today is Friday the 29th of April. I haven't recorded a vlog uh, since we found out that our egg donation treatment didn't work. Um, there's a number of reasons I haven't recorded. The main reason though is because of how I felt. I don't know how I feel from day to day. One day I'll be fine, the next day I just want to shut myself in my room and not see the world and another day I just want to sit and cry my eyes out. It varies from day to day as to how I feel. And I said to Ross a couple of weeks ago that I have not actually felt right since our first miscarriage back in 2013. I've been a different person since then. I've not found as much joy in things, which is not me. I used to laugh a lot and really be quite a vibrant person. And I don't feel like I'm that way in the same way as I was back then. Um, I find that I don't have as much energy, I find it hard to exercise, I feel like I'm tired all the time and I just want to get back to me and I'm finding it really frustrating. So since all this happened I'm trying to make some changes. Every morning I go out and I do 2k on the treadmill and I'm trying to increase that. I'm eating a lot cleaner, I tend to eat um, organic food where I can. I don't have any gluten, I hardly have any dairy and thankfully Mindful Chef came along. They're a recipe box delivery service who I now use on a regular basis and they deliver organic pr produce for you to make a recipe with and they deliver the recipe cards and it's pretty straightforward to be honest. I know now that I'm getting more vegetables into my diet as a result of this and I just want to feel healthier um, on that note, I've also started seeing an acupuncturist again, but this time I'm seeing somebody who is based uh, a bit further away, but she practices Chinese medicine. So what I found with that is that it's, um, it means now I, I've got somebody who, who can do a sort of a broader spectrum of things to help me. Um, I've been reading a book called The Infertility Cure by Dr. Randy Lewis, and it's quite interesting about acupuncture and how it helps and how um, Western medicine incorporates acupuncture. Um, I'm not just doing it for fertility purposes. I know a lot of people might think I'm starting to get obsessed and I'm trying really hard not to because I know that's just going to make it even harder for us. So actually what I want to do is get my body feeling better, my whole person feeling better, my whole self and I'm hoping that in turn that will help me have a better state of mind. Um, it's hard and I feel like I'm a bit of a crazy person even saying all of this so please bear with me I'm sorry. Um, also this week I spoke to my GP and I gave them a piece of my mind. Not in a rude way, in an assertive way. I said to them that I'd had enough of being fobbed off, I don't feel like that I, I don't feel like I've been given all the tests we could have had I don't feel like I know um, about my hormone levels or anything and this time because we've got a bit more knowledge uh, Ross is going to come with me. Last time I went on my own and now we know a bit more about the system and what we need to know. Um, when I go back and see the consultant again we're going to take Ross with me and we're going to uh, be much more insistent than we were last time around. Um, plus I need a consultant here. Uh, thanks to Caro at the Emerald, uh, the Twinkle Diaries she um, she said to me that it would be a good idea to have a consultant here before we go back over abroad to have any treatment because at least then there's someone who could oversee what's happening. And actually that's true because before I went to Cyprus um, the, con the, the hospital did measure my endometrium and helped me see what my lining of my womb was. So I do know that that would help and it would save a lot of hassle at the other end. Um, I've got my thoughts about Cyprus and their clinic and I will share those uh, on my next vlog but what I will say is I do think it was an error to put four embryos in. Um, you don't find women getting pregnant with quads every day. Um, it's a lot to ask of a body and um, not just Carrie but other people have said to me they feel that it was an error. Um, so but I'll, I'll talk more about that next time. And also I, uh, we found out last week, we applied, Ross and I applied for an opportunity through Fertility Road magazine for a competition 
for a couple to win egg donation treatment with IVF Spain. So fingers crossed um, that will uh, come through. We, we got shortlisted and we had a Skype call with the representative there last week and they're going to choose one winner, one winner and one couple to get half price treatment. So we're crossing our fingers that um, that will happen. Um, it would be great, it would save us an awful lot of um, hassle and money. Um, it's cost us a fortune so far and I'm worried that we're going to run out of funds actually. Um, and finally, what I will say, and the other thing that spurred me on to record this vlog today, is that I found out this morning that my blog's been shortlisted in the video category at the Brilliance in Blogging Awards. Now I don't do this for an award, um, I did this because I want to document how I feel and I want to help other people who might be feeling like I do. But to have that um, recognition really, really spurred me on and I thank you to anyone who voted for me in this, I really appreciate it because it does give you, I needed a kick up the backside to, to carry on. I nearly stopped doing this and I just, I was toying with the idea of stopping but I also want to make sure that I carry on and see this through to the end. I, I hate it because there are th things that I give up on and I don't want to give up on this. I'm a bit like a dog with a bone when I've got something I want to achieve. And this is something that Ross and I want to achieve and I want to carry on telling you how we're going to go about it, even if it ends up that we adopt. Um, so there we have it. I want to say thank you. And it's not just about, like I say, the award, but there's so many people who've messaged me privately who I don't even know who say thank you or ask me how I am or say they're supporting me and they really appreciate that I'm doing this and that they watch. And there's so many people who watch and I don't realise do. So if you, if you are that person, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for being my support network because I don't think you realise even though I might be supporting others by doing this, by you giving me this feedback, it supports me and Ross and helps us see that we're not alone and that we should carry on. So thank you. Thank you for watching and um, I'll be back soon with another vlog. Sooner this time. <laughs> Take care.